Hello guys and welcome back to another Master Duel video. Now these next couple videos are going to be based around the Synchro Xyz Festival. We're going to take a look at the Forbidden Limited and Semi-Limited list before we get started into the first place. So we're not going to view the whole thing, but you're going to see it scrolling through on the screen. So you're going to see some uh, quite a few cards were added, like Kaiser Coliseum, Rivalry, Rivalry of Warlord. Of course, since it's a Synchro and Xyz Festival, all fusions are hit as well but there are some things here that are interesting to me dimensional fissure macro cosmos there's also if i scroll down enough we should be able to see goes and matches gone as well and i saw barrier statue the wind one that fluandries likes to use along with pot of duality and it's just really interesting to see that they just got rid of it all outright. I'm like, thank God, no Fluanderies. I still have to deal with Time Lords. I'm not dealing with Kaiju because Interrupted Kaiju Slumber is forbidden, which is nice. Thank you. Oh, boy. Now, this first opponent had Sword Souls. It was a Sword Soul-based deck, and uh, good lord, man. There was... This was a little bit of a rough one. Maybe he scooped because he saw my hero deck pop enough. Now, I did... Try my best to build a hero deck. The only Xyz monsters I had were Exosisters, but I don't think that worked as like I thought it would. As you can see, I have been punished for that. But later on, we did switch decks. So let's go ahead and play this replay and show you exactly what happened. We'll go through the play-by-play. -play. I'll go through what's going on in my head. And this will be about maybe three, four duels long for this video. I don't know. So I'm going first. Opening hand is, of course, the classic Duelist Cup Bread and Butter. Droll and Lockward, Ash Blossom, Vion, Rageki, and... E emergency call. We start with the E emergency call to see if they had an Ash Blossom. They didn't. So we use Stratos here to get, I believe. Never mind. Get nothing. Because they didn't ask the E call, they asked the Stratos. And since that was my normal summon, I can't really do anything afterwards. So I'm just forced to end my turn. Starts with, I believe, Lightning Storm to kill my Stratos. Very rude of you. Sword Soul Emergence, I choose to Ash that because if you open with Sword Soul Emergence, you're either saving your normal summon or you've got, or that's all you have. Negate that. And I believe they, s nope, they end if that's all they had. My turn. I draw Malicious. We decide to pop off with Vion. Activate Vion to send Shadow Mist. Activate Shadow Mist. And I believe, oh, I was about to say here's what they scoop. Not yet. Activate Ferris, if it's Malicious. So then we can get the increase play. You guys know it. We activate an increase, tribute Ferris. And they scoop. Apparently I'm not allowed to pop off, but you know what? We take those. Another sword soul. This one maybe sent me through it a bit more. Seems like he's got maybe a huge combo heavy deck. Now I'm gonna say it right now, heroes are not viable at all in this the fact that i've been able to get wins is just a huge shock to me he's going first i have nib cross out max c and a couple hero monsters that's two and passes now i thought this was like kaijus or something maybe it's like oh okay i guess if he if i pop off too much but no nope, sword soul strife i just go into battle set cross out and my turn he activates infinite impermanence for whatever reason. I don't think he needed to do that. Because there was nothing in my graveyard, so I can't activate it. Then he just draws and ends his turn. So then I normal summon increase, and I just pop and pop. So basically just beating him down slowly, you know. You know how it is. If you brick, you're just taking little chip damage. Taking your lumps. He draws again. Ecclesia, I decide to max C, because I'm like, I could use some more cards. Sure, why not? The Moye, I get Rhoda, activates Moye. There's Sword Soul Sacred Summit. Gets a token, I get Droll and Lockbird. He, syn he synchros in the Ch 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 Xiao, or Chi Xiao. Activates Moe, activates Grandmaster. If I do anything here, no, I just let it through because, you know, I activated Max C. But I know he's drawing cards. So, this is where I draw on Lockbird. Because I already have Nib. I'm like, I don't need the cards. This is just to stop him from popping off too much. I activate Nib, wipe the board, give him a nice little token. And I forgot he can still pop off. 
get the Irish Sword Soul on the field, and then just and ends his turn. So I got nervous when he was able to attribute the token. I'm like, oh no. But I pulled Ferris. So here's Forbidden Droplet, sending the. Uh, th All right. I don't think I had game there, but I think he was just like, all right, chief, I'm gonna fuck with you. And he just left. Now, as you can see, I did take a few good losses, but we're actually going to be looking at this one right here versus Nowhere Man. He must live out in the middle of nowhere. Shout out to Curse Cowley Dog, my favorite, my favorite show from when I was a kid. It's a Blue Eyes deck. Who'd have thought? Honestly, Blue Eyes deck in Synchro and XCs, it, could, it, it can work. 100%. It's actually one of the easiest ones you could probably build, aside from Exosisters. Now, he's got the classic stuff. I don't know why you would only run one Jet Dragon. I thought he ran multiple Jet Dragons. You'll, you'll, see, you'll see that. You'll see that apparent later. Let's look at the loss. I think I, I, think I surrendered here because there was nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing. I bricked so hard, and he was controlling my field. Lancia, Rhoda, Feather Duster, Solid Soldier, and Denier. Activate Rhoda. He ashes it. Okay. I mean, you run th he runs three, so that's a good percentage to start with it. So that's fine. Solid Soldier's effect to Special Summon Denier. And then I end. That was a big mistake. And we're going to speed this up a bit. So Alternative comes out. I use Lancia. Don't know why I wanted to do Lancia because he wasn't gonna banish anything. Then he sets that, or sets two. So, initial thought: Harpy's Feather Duster. He would be correct. Ultimate creature of destruction, targeting the blue eyes. So he gets that, or he targets alternative. So he gets that pop off immediately. Other one was True Light. So I'm glad I got rid of True Light. Got a miss to grab Honest Neos. Yeah, and now, now I know what you're thinking. Oh, you could have activated Honest Neos during the, the damage step. It wouldn't have killed it, so it would have been pointless chip damage. So I held on to Honest Neos. Then he just pops my Vion anyway, and he shows me Nebula Dragon to get the two out. And that's why I scoop, because I know I'm going to get Numeron Dragoned. But I wasn't going to lose it. It's just he would have had a Numeron Dragon out or a Hope Harbinger out there. And it just would not have been a fun time. Same deck, same, same opponent. Because the second I surrendered, I went back in. And then, surprise, surprise, it's the same person. I'm just like, great. I'm going to get blue eyes again. This time it was a different outcome. We opened with ED. We opened with Shadow Mist, Decider, Emergency Call, D Force, and Royal Decree. I think I reformatted my deck as well. Like I, I went, I added Plasma. I'm like, ah, oh, he's not gonna be good. So then I just slapped in a few D Force, did that. He goes first and gets his Jet Dragon out with two set, and I'm pretty sure one of them is True Light. So my turn starts, I activate E-Call straight from the gate because I I want to know if he's got Ash Blossom. He doesn't. So cool. Activate D-Force to search for my Plasma. Activate Stratos. We're going to get Ferris, I believe. Yeah, Ferris, Sending Shadow Mist, to, and then ending with Increase and Vion. What do I get with Shadow Mist? I totally forgot. Well, we'll see in a second. So Ferris sets the Increase. Shadow Mist, I pull... Oh, another Ferris, just just in case, I guess. So he tributes Ferris, get the increase, summon the Vion, Vion's effect, pitch malicious, bring out Plasma, my boy. Now, if y'all don't know Destiny Hero Plasma, this card's effect alone. Negate the effects of face-up monsters while your opponent controls them. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to this card. Gains attack equal to half of the original attack of the monsters equipped to it by this effect. But remember, I also have D-Force. When this card is activated, I can add Plasma, which I did. While I control Destiny Hero Plasma, I can apply the following effects. I can't draw any cards during the draw phase. So that sucks. 
but my opponent cannot target controls I control with card effects. And each Destiny Hero Plasma I control gains 100 attack for each of the monsters in the graveyards. Yeah, that's 100. In, like, each. So that's good. So I target his Jet Dragon. I suck it up. And then I just summon Malicious and we go into battle. Pop. And then I bait with Malicious, but also... Fun fact, how can he attack twice? It's it's part of this effect. Gains 100 attack for each monster in the graveyard cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also can make a second attack during the battle, during each battle phase. He activates True Light, so he survives. Luckily. So he gets an extra turn. I set Royal Decree because I see True Light is there. Let's see what he does. Melody of Awakening Dragon. I activate Royal Decree, so he has to activate True Light. But he sets Ultimate Creature of Destruction. Don't know why. Because I have Royal Decree, which will negate. So he gets to bring a Blue Eyes to his hand. He's going to bring out Alternative while also having a Blue Eyes on the field. Once that happens, he exceeds into Galaxy Eyes. See, I thought he was going to I thought he was going to go into Numeron Dragon and try and OTK me here. But I had Honest Neo, so I could honest, I could target my Malicious and still live with something. But instead, he goes into Galaxy Eyes Cipher Drag, Galaxy Eyes Cipher X Dragon. Unfortunate part, effects are negated. So he attacks the Malicious. I barely take any damage. He surrenders, because after that, I would have been able to take it and then smack him over the head with it. So. Honestly, that was a good end to the duel. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want to see any other videos on the festival or any specific decks. Comment them down below. What's your favorite deck you like to run? I want to know. Maybe I might be interested in running it. All right, that's it, guys. I've been Rev, and I'll see you next time.